This is Prank DJ. Breaking news from the U.S. Uh, one of the U.S. Department. Uh, yeah. U.S. Energy Department of all sources. Okay. I just found this out. Now, the first source that I found out was from it's Jimmy. They, they tell about different news about the, uh, well, mostly I found it because of the uh, different stimulus pa- uh, packages and stuff like that, right? But he also told other stories that most of the media won't even talk about, okay? Well, this day, on this day, a week before I go to podcast Moving Evolution, I found out that just like everybody, if they haven't found out by now, will find out the true origin of this deadly, this destructive, this thing that, that, that took away two years of our lives, that took away graduations, that took away weddings, that took away people's jobs, their livelihoods, and sometimes maybe their businesses, and it killed millions and millions of people around the world. I am so freaking upset because not only that, my friend's been, been uh, my friend did had this damn thing. I had it for some time. <laughs> I caught a little cold. I am so damn mad. I am so damn mad. I am so damn mad. I don't care if I I don't care if I had cancer. I will still bring you this story. I don't care if I have stage five cancer. I will still uh, provide you this story. Okay. Oh, I'm not done yet. Rodney. Rodney. What the hell were you thinking about? What the hell were you thinking about cursing out somebody? who had nothing to do with your girlfriend's situation and nothing to do. And now about that, she told her the girl, when, not bad fact, because of this story that I'm going to bring back, we all have a reason to keep a girl, not your girlfriend, other than the fact about where this COVID came from, which I'm about to uh, share with you. Okay? And then, on top of that, how in the world would you bend it no sweetheart, first lady, Dr. ex-girlfriend. How the hell did you expect me to do that? I mean, how the hell did you expect me to do that? I'm so mad I'm mixing up my words right now. That's how fucking mad I am. We lost freedoms. I almost went, went to, the, to, to a mental hospital. And after they were finding down to this damn lockdown that happened, so then so many times I said, I have to get out of here or else I will be on my way to a mental hospital. Now, I wasn't able to see fantasy, but I went to Las Vegas. And as soon enough, oddly enough, that was my first trip to Vegas ever in my entire freaking life. I am so mad with uh, Congress should demand uh, the, the, the Congress or whatever should condemn that lab and they should th- th- they should demand that that lab be to be closed. That lab should be burned to the ground and never to be built back again. It should be nothing but probably a thing that re- could rebuild as apartment building or maybe condos or something. Are you freaking kidding me right now? A week before I get to go to podcast movement evolution, evolution, and I'm finding this crap out. Okay? So when I first saw the video, I said, you know what? I really got to rant about this. But before this, I ain't going to rant about Rodney. Okay? So, Rodney just came back. He did a few games. I think he did Fargo. He did uh, 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 his version of um, Dealer's Choice. Okay? And then his girlfriend is still so butthurt over something that was happening a year ago or something like that. So he's, she's still holding a grudge and he's still taking out on Dr. Irene and everybody involved. 
That, sir, is so wrong. That is so wrong. How can you do that? I am, no, I am not going to call because I know what you do. So the only way that I can use my voice is to rant on the podcast. That's the only way to rant my voice because if I become homeless, I will surely die. I will surely die because I want to move out of here because the place is already corrupt. Okay. I mean, there's no way to live. And I already feel safe, un, unsafe in my own apartment building. And then finding this out a week before I go to podcast movement evolution. One week I go next Monday night. I leave for Vegas next Monday night. Eight something at night. Gotta leave to the airport at five or six at night so I can catch my damn flight. And I find this out today. Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen. Not since 9-11 has something that made me so angry. Because we all, in one way, were affected by 9-11. Hell, I lost the job that I like. It was back in the floor at the hotel because the, the terrorist attack was like just killing our economy. Just like COVID ruining our lives. It's like we are demanding justice against that lab. That lab needs to be shut down and shut down permanently. Shut down permanently. Now. I will not only leak the Jimmy version that, that, that literally brought a fire up my ass. And it got me so hot that there's a forest fire right now in St. Louis. From my head. I'll show you the video and then the story that I'm going to read, The Guardian. I'll probably try to link that in the description. Holy cat! Are you serious? You mean to tell me you got to tell me this right before I go to podcast, moving evolution? I'm supposed to be excited about doing another another uh, 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 coverage of another podcast uh, convention. And you pull this shit on me. I thought, I thought I had only one rant to talk about, which was the Rodney and his girlfriend type situation. And now the fact that he cursed out somebody who is an innocent party. And then on top of that, on top of that, friended one of Dr. Irene's ex. Okay? And he definitely, definitely uh, gone from all, all of her servers and anything that she owned. So I thought I was going to do that right. No! No, 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 no! No! You're not going to do one rant. You're going to do two. Two! You don't understand. I had COVID just like everybody else had COVID. We lost freedom. We lost loved ones. We lost jobs. We lost businesses. We lost freedom because of this stupid mask mandate. This... Motherfucker, six feet, stupid, the most stupidest word ever, social distancing, that made my life a living hell for the past two years. Now I hate it when 2020 be mentioned. This is why, this is another reason why I have PTSD now. And to find this crap out now, before I reach the, before I go to a mini convention in Vegas, the first, actually, the first city that I went to when I had, I knew that I had to go somewhere before I wind up in a damn mental hospital. Oh God, this makes me mad. This made me mad. This really made me mad. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable. Let me get to the to the, to the story. I told you about what happened with Lineyard. I already told you what happened already. This made me, this made me fucking mad. Okay, this is from the Guardian. So the, uh, the Guardian, this is this is so new story. And they had the picture of that terrible play. Look like a college campus that need to be torn down. It needs to be torn down. Torn down. Torn down. Now. Okay. This is. The author was Edward Helmore, Hel- 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 whatever the name is. 
And again, the story is coming from the Guardian. Now I know other. Uh, now there are other media that cover it, but I don't like some of their stats. I haven't seen it from Fox News. I would have. I would have loved to cover it from Fox News, but I just had only found the Guardian. COVID nineteen likely come from Lapley, says news report citing U.S. Energy Department. Okay. And it said this is finding co- uh, finding come with low confidence, and it's a department from previous study on how viruses emerge. Wall Street Journal reports. So actually, the Wall Street Journal was the one that started the whole uh, whole bringing it up. Okay. As a matter of fact, this report was brought to us on yesterday, yesterday, Sunday, at the time of this podcast. Holy cat! Holy fuck! The virus that... Now, I'm only going to uh, say the year because of this story. And I'm going to try to read the whole thing. The virus that told the COVID-19 pandemic most likely emerged from a laboratory leak, but not as part of a weapons program, according to an updated and classified, meaning secretly. So we were never supposed to know this shit. Let me read this to you again. The virus that drove the COVID-19 pandemic most likely emerged from a laboratory leak, but not as part of a weapons program. According to an updated and classified 2021 USMG Department study. Now, let me stop right there. So you mean to you mean to fucking tell me that all of our lives stop? And we were supposed to know why or where the hell that this COVID-19 comes from? So now we're gonna have COVID-19 for the rest of our lives. Now become an endemic, just like the flu, just like any other virus. Now, because of that, we was we were supposed to never had known it because classified is secret. You know, it's secret. I, I am angry right now. I am I am literally floored right now. But anyway, it's supposed to be uh let me see. Um, U.S. Department study uh, provided to the White House and senior American lawmaker, the Wall Street Journal report on Sunday. The department's finding a depart uh, a departure from the previous study on how the virus emerged uh, came in an update to a document from the Office of National Intelligence Director uh, Avril Avril I'm not even gonna pro- try to put that uh, uh, pronounce that name. Avril Avril H. That's what I'm just gonna say. The Wall Street Journal reported. It followed a finding reported report, uh, reportedly issued with moderate uh, moderate confidence by the FBI that the virus spread after leaking out of a Chinese laboratory. The conclusion from the Energy Department which is overseas network of 17 U.S. laboratories, including areas of advanced biology, would be significant uh, despite the fact that, the, as the report said, the agency made it its uh, updated judgment with low confidence. Well, we're still finding it out. Low confidence, my ass. We had life laws. Businesses laws. People couldn't go to graduations or wedding or funeral. Couldn't say goodbye to loved one. Had to be had this stupid damn math mandate. Stupid social distancing. A word that continue to be a freaking curse. Okay, let me read on before I wind up having a heart attack. Confer- co- uh, conf- 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 Con- conflicting, yeah, conflicting hypotenuse on the origin of COVID-19 has centered either on a unidentified animal trans- uh, transmitting the uh, the virus to human 
or is accidentally from a Chinese research laboratory in Wuhan. Or Wuhan. Whatever the fuck you announced it. Wuhan, Wuhan, Wu-Tang Clan. I don't care. The spread of COVID-19, just one in a line of infection uh, coronaviruses to emerge, caught global health body unawareness. I don't even know how to pronounce that word, but in early 2020, and that's the only time you you will hear make, make me hear that that stupid year. It has it has since caused close to seven million deaths worldwide. I'll say this again. I will say this. I will say this shit again. I will say this shit again. It has caused close to seven. Million deaths worldwide. According to the World Health Organization and disrupted trade and as well as to, to travel and especially freedom's law. Former, uh, former U.S. President Donald Trump political, uh, politicized the issue, calling it the Chinese the China virus, trickling a radicalization of a pandemic that has Democrat successor Joe Biden has sought to avoid, but po- po- political uh, po- polarization remains under the surface of efforts to establish its origin. The Energy Department updated finding ran counter to report by four, not one, not two, not three, but four other U.S. intelligence agencies that con- uh, that concluded the academic epidemic started as the result of natural transmission from a infected animal. Two agencies remain undecided. U.S. officials, the journal said, also declined to expand the new intelligence or analysts uh, analysts that led the Energy Department to change. Its position. They also noted that the Energy Department and FBI arrived at the same conclusion for different reasons. The CIA remains undecided between leaf and natural transmission theory, according to the National Intelligence Council study. But while the initial 2021 report did not reach a conclusion, it did offer a consensus view that the COVID-19 was not a part of a Chinese biological weapon program. The National Security Advisor, Jay Sullivan, acknowledged on, Sat- on Sunday that there are a variety of views within U.S. intelligence agencies on the issue. That's still not enough. We're still closer to, to finding what everybody else is saying about that stupid laugh. That's still not enough. We are still struggling. And that was a inflation. We're still struggling. I had four days with no food. We're losing our value. I could was only able to get three items. Now I got to wait till tomorrow and also Wednesday to get more, more food before I leave next week. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Some elements of the intelligence community have reached conclusion on one side, some on the other, and a number have said that they just don't have enough information to be sure, Sullivan told fake news CNN. But he said that the Biden administration had had directed repeatedly every element of our intelligence community to put effort and resources on getting to the bottom of this question. Sullivan added that the Biden ha- uh, that Biden had uh, specifically re- requested that the national laboratory under the Energy Department be brought into assessment. He wants to be- he wants to put every tool to you to figure out what happened. Sullivan said, "Right now, there is not a definitive answer to emerge from the intelligence community, but we're still finding it out on this question." He added referring to the eight of 18 agencies, along with the National Intelligence Council, that have looked into COVID-19 origins. 
Again, we're still finding it out a week before I go to podcast movement evolution. What we next Monday, next Monday night. A previous report by the energy department. Lawrence Livermore. National Laboratory in May 2020 concluded that a lab leak theory was possible. The updated five-page New York City assessment, the Journal Reporter, was done in light of new intelligence, further study of academic literature and consultation with experts outside government and comes as Republicans and Congress press for more information. A spokesman for the Energy Department, this is a damn long story. A spokesman for the Energy Department wrote in a statement that the agency continues to uh, support the uh, thought, careful, and objective work of our intelligence professional and investigated that the origins of COVID-19 are the are, are as the president uh, the, as the president directed. I almost made a freaking long shot. COVID officials have disputed that COVID-19 could have, could have leaked from its lab among them, the Wuhan, the Wuhan or Wuhan or Wu-Tang Clan, whatever that, whatever that word is, Institute of Virology, the Chinese Center for uh, Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Uh, the Chinese, there. Yeah, I guess they have a CDC. I don't know. Yeah, I guess they have a CDC too. I don't know. And the Wuhan Institute of Biological Products. According to the initial U.S. 2021 intelligence report, COVID-19 first circulated in Wuhan, China, no later than November 2019. So this was way before that I went to PodFest, the November 2019. Within three researchers from the Wuhan Institute of Virology reportedly involved and coronavirus researchers were sick enough to seek hospital care. So that, I am definitely reading the, so I am actually reading the, the Guardian, the Guardian story that just came out yesterday from after what I find out from a video from It's, uh, it's Jimmy. I will put two of the links, matter of fact, the video part and this, this source also, it's on my Facebook page. It is also on the uh, on my YouTube page and everything in between. So that, my friend, is a story that's going to get me mad. Holy shit. LiftGoodTour.com slash Big D Country. LiftGoodTour.com slash Big D Country. Escape to Big D Country.com. Escape to Big D Country.com. And you know the rest. I'm out. <sighs> that was laughing, New Han, China. Yeah! Fight, yeah!